Hello and welcome to Dawn Guard Part 3 for the Vampire Quest. So I've got to go and speak to Hulkan after the vampires betrayed us in the last part, which I could not believe. Vampires also get very jealous, it seems. Hello. Ah, you are here. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out. And that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Oh, let's just hear this speech he's about to do. Also, we've got to try and block out the sun so vampires can live during the day basically without any problems. Without getting weaker. Making the vampire race obviously a lot, lot stronger. Those weird dog things. What the hell are you looking at? You stupid dog. Science of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. It will be done. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it... I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Alright, so we've got to decide where we're going to go and find the information on this moth priest. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. I guess so. That's a long story. I guess we kind of have to go way back to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord.
Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just give me a little time. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then, and I'm tired of it now. Right, so let's go look for some clues on where to go for this moth priest. I will let you know if anything interesting happens. Um, so I think it's up three different locations. So I think last time I went to Winterhold on the Dawnguard quest, so I might go to somewhere different. Just to sort of ramp it up a bit, especially for those people who have seen all my Dawnguard quests. Um, sorry about this, has been a little bit delayed. I've been sort of pretty busy. Unfortunately, this can't be my sole job, which would be amazing, but it's never that easy. Uh, right, so let's go to the mission quest. Where should we go? Let's go to one of the show. Okay, perhaps I'll just go to the wind tunnel, perhaps that'll be easier. That is what I will do then. I'll see you at Winterhold. It lets me select it. There we go. No blood bottles in the sunlight, which is a bit annoying. Nothing much I can do about that. I'm not sure whether that. Oh, she's got a hood on. I'm not sure if I can get a hood or perhaps and cover my face up or something. Perhaps that will help. I haven't really looked up a lot of information about it. I know it makes you a lot, lot weaker. Um, apparently, it's like three different stages of being on the, under the sun. I'm glad it doesn't sort of drain your health or anything silly like that, because that'd be really annoying. Just going outside and your health just drains, or, or your magic or stamina or something. So I'm glad they've done it sort of like that. You get a little bit weaker, but you can still fire and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I think it's in the library. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Which actually features in the, um, the main quest as well, this guy. Um, he, he gives you more information on the Elder Scrolls for the dragons. I Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Understand, I do understand. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine, no need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priest make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now. Doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Right, so that's a pretty quick sort of update. Um, get this information really quickly, get us what we need, and we can be off. Off to Dragonbridge. All of the em elements. I wouldn't say like a mega, a mega sort of thank you for like the support on these videos. It's been amazing. Like since I started putting these videos up, I wasn't really expecting like tons, but I've just been a mega like Skyrim fan, so I just will try the game. Um, and I've been doing a lot of walkthroughs, like for games I want to play and stuff. So that's what I, that's what I want to show you. Like games I'm really excited for. And I want to show that. And I was really surprised by sort of some of the feedback I was getting. The amount of sort of views and stuff and likes. It's amazing the amount of likes I got on my first video and stuff like that. Amazing amount of support for the video. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh man, it's a dragon. Shit, my oh, pants. Oh, let's get a crossbow out. That's one. Oh shit. And hopefully a shout. Oh yeah. I hope it doesn't turn up now. Luckily, it's just a normal dragon. Where are you going? Okay, you're not going very far. Because the wizards are really destroying this thing pretty quick. Oh, you're dead, are you? Oh, you cheeky bugger. You turn out of nowhere. That was a painful death, my friend. And one that you deserve. Oh, just moving for some reason. Nice useful dragon soul. Oh, I know which room. Oh, 
I'll have to leave it. That's a bit annoying, but there's not much you can do, really. What the hell was that? What's going on then? It's gonna run away. <laughs> right. Let's ask the people at Dragon Bridge. We need your help. Can you tell us where to go? Could be very useful. Let's ask about see if there's any details on this guy. Seen some mean spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was really God might get nervous. Ah. So that was a moth priest then. It he was rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. Just headed south across the dragon bridge. Oh, let's go there then. Right, let's do this. Let's run as quick as we can. Try and get to this moth priest before anyone else does. Hello, my little horsey. Shadow Mirror. Most epic horse of all time. These epic red eyes. Alright, let's go south off the Dragon Bridge. Which I'm guessing is called that because it's got some massive dragon stone on it. And there's. The crash. Investigate the scene of the crash. Vampires. Vampire note. Oh, damn it. Okay, so they've captured the, the moth priest. This is a bit annoying. Um, just over here, I think. Come on, Serena, Serena, Serena. Um, right, how do we get up here? She has a wonderful ability that is called jump. Just walk around, maybe. Just try jumping up here. That seemed to work, away. Okay. I think the entrance is just up here. Is that blood, or is that just? I don't know what the hell it is. Doesn't look good, whatever. Yeah, it's blood, I think. <laughs> Not sunlight. Jesus. Oh, that's what you to get. Some decent vampire armor. I think you can get that in the in the castle. I'll have to try and look around for that when we get a chance. Uh, that's one thing I also need to do. I need to look at some of the perks. Some people were getting a bit angry last time because I didn't <laughs> upgrade any of my perks as the vampire lord. So what I do, I will change into it now. 